Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today we're going to be going over something really cool. Something that uh, I kind of hinted at last week and then within a couple days Locke had it added into the engine and that is using a 3D model as your map. This is real simple uh, but it's very cool. So uh, I have a new map here. This is still our first person project we've been working in um, but I have a new map. We're going to come over here to our layers section. I'm actually going to use my lower layer but if you click on this little cog here, the settings, and then you scroll down you have these new options here the visual and the collider mesh I'm gonna be using both of these I believe that if you were to do something like pre-rendered backgrounds uh, you would use like just the collider mesh and you'd set up the picture I don't know I haven't messed with 3d back or uh, pre-rendered backgrounds at all yet so uh, but for today we're gonna be using both of these so let's just click both of these check them on we're gonna go to our assets uh, I'm going to use this RPGA Crystal Shrine model that uh, Tolan put together. Uh, I'm going to set back face culling to clockwise and then I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to use the same collider mesh, same model for the collider mesh I should say. Uh, so it's just, you know, I'm using the exact same GLTF file uh, for the visual and for the collider in this case. There might be uh, instances where you need to differentiate, but anyway, let's test it. And here we go. Look at this. We are in a 3D model. We have steps already kind of set up for us there. We have a wall. I'm pushing into it. Let me go to third person, walking into the wall, and there's a collision there run up this ramp there's collision there it's already calculating all that so yeah it's really that easy the hardest part will be uh modeling the environment really you got this wall here running into it collision there so very cool um and just like that we have ourselves a 3d map you might have to do some fine tuning with your own um models or whatever it just depends but um Oh yeah, and also you need to be uh, be aware of what your width and height are set to. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the dimensions of this actual uh, model are, so I just set it to something big. Um, there's probably a lot of extra room on the outside of it, but just be mindful of that. Uh, you can also, of course, set in some lighting. Um, I don't know, we'll just do like some purple light, some bluish, bluish purple light. Let's just see what that does. Yep. There we go. And then we have lighting going on and it is casting shadows against the models here. See, there's a little shadow from that pillar. And we have our character has his shadow. It's very cool. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode today, this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. I know it was a short one, but uh, there was really not a ton to cover here. Um, just showing you how, how to find that mesh setting. Um, if you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, a, like, a comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't picked up your copy of RPGA yet, you can see it's already pretty feature rich. Um, you know, we got 3D models, we got first and third person, we have pulling up weapons, we have all kinds of good stuff uh, going on here. Um, so get your copy while it is still in early access. Uh, you will not regret it. If you have a if you have a vision for uh, an RPG, no matter what style that is, uh, you can you can make it happen. If you've enjoyed my tutorials, if you've enjoyed my commentary, if you've enjoyed my fumblings and bumblings, please consider supporting me on Patreon.com/slash/BitByBitSound. Uh, it helps me out a lot. It helps me to continue doing these tutorials. And you also get a ton of music to use in your projects as well. So, I mean, it's a win-win, really. Uh, so, yeah, it would be much appreciated. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. You have been amazing. I have been Bert, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.